Hi there everyone, it is currently the 28th of December 2011 and out here in the Western Pacific today we are continuing to watch a lot of this rainfall continuing to plague much of the Philippines down towards Borneo and Malaysia and Thailand here. Also on the satellite imagery here you're also seeing Tropical Cyclone Thane move off towards the west and I'm going to get a little more in depth in with that in a second. And also in this update we're going to look down towards Australia and check a look at the remnants of tropic vapor imagery here across much of the region and I'll show you where a lot of this moisture currently is. Now this imagery goes back about three days and one of the first things you note here is actually Tropical Cyclone Thane here spinning off in the Bay of Bengal. It is getting some dry air wrapped around it. That's what's being indicated here in the blues and purples but I also want to take your attention over here towards the Philippines and all of the South China Sea. Now that is that northeast monsoon that's really bringing a heavy amount of rainfall and actually if you have read uh, the last two updates at Western Pacific Weather by uh, Patrick and also Francis out here, you would have read that a lot of the people in this area are experiencing some big problems out here. A lot of destruction and been many reports of flooding out in Malaysia and not only Malaysia, Borneo, but also the southern Philippines. Uh, kind of salt on the wound, as Patrick put it here, across northern Mindanao because of actually death toll in that area of above about 1100 right now still over a thousand people still missing and if we actually zoom in on the imagery here or at least the visible imagery for the Philippines you can see that over Luzon today actually going to be seeing some heavy thunderstorms move on shore at least over the next several hours but at the very least Mindanao does look like it's going to be experiencing a little break in the weather and the strong activity here over the next uh, 24 hours but by the latter part of this week and into the week and I'm expecting more rainfall to continue to push in from the southeast towards the northwest here and actually just just look at the GFS model outlook here this is actually starting off with that heavy rainfall over Luzon and being shown here for today you're also seeing this rainfall continuing to link down near Ningler down near Borneo as well but let's look off here towards the latter part of the weekend into the weekend expecting a surge of energy to push on towards Mindanao not only Mindanao but also the Malaysian Peninsula here expecting heavy rainfall to continue right near the Malaysian and Thailand border into the weekend so uh, definitely something to continue to watch here but good news is that yesterday I was showing you the possible development of a tropical system by the early part of next week. Well, it looks like GFS is starting to back off on that possible tropical development. No gaps is still hinting at it out here, so something to continue to watch, but at the very least it does look like uh, the models are starting to pick up on the fact that it's a little bit far south and a little extreme uh, for a tropical cyclone to development. It's not unheard of, as we saw with Washi, that remains south of 10 degrees north and it's during its entire existence, but it really doesn't look like it likely would happen but at least for the meantime still expecting that monsoonal flow to push across Mindanao there so definitely something to continue to watch and there is still the potential for even more flooding in that area but let's push out here towards the west and one good news actually at least with tropical cyclone 06b here or Thane is that it's sucking up a lot of the moisture out of Thailand here and also the Malaysian Peninsula so at this time you are seeing a little break in the activity at least until the latter part of this week as we already noted because Thane here is sucking up that and moving off towards the wet. Now this storm at this time is seeing about winds of 60 gussing up to 75 knots right near the center of circulation and if we pull up microwave imagery on that from zero zero Zulu this morning you can see it was developing an eye here just for a short duration of time though it does look like it's starting to be battered by vertical wind shear from the north so this eye development doesn't seem like it will uh, reflect all the way up to the upper levels that's why on the IR imagery you can't see it you can only see it when you are able to peer through the cirrus cloud tops using this microwave imagery here. So with that said, the system is still expected to continue to track off towards the west here. It is expected to continue to see vertical wind shear move over the location. And actually, let's pull up this wind shear analysis. And you can see that about 20 to 30 knots just off towards the north of the forecasted track here. And that's expected to push towards the south, which would decrease the intensity of this storm. And also, the storm is uh, sitting uh, over about 28 to about 29 degrees Celsius sea surface temperatures. And that's not the most conducive for development. It definitely isn't unconducive, but not the most prime. Usually you want to get above 30 degrees. So uh, all these factors combined, I do expect a decrease in intensity before the storm makes landfall. The Joint Typhoon Warning Center is also saying that looking at the speeds drop down to about 55 knots and rate at landfall down to 45 knots. Still the equivalent of a tropical storm, but it doesn't look like it is going to be making landfall as the equivalent of a typhoon out in the western Pacific. Uh, but at this time though, the, one of the main factors with the 
this storm is also going to be the heavy flooding out here and really any location specifically on the right side of it here all towards the north uh, basically north of Chennai and also around the metropolitan area where you have a lack of good drainage out there you could see some localized flooding and even widespread flooding right near the center of circulation as this storm moves on shore so don't take this storm uh, away from your mindset especially if you do know that it is forecasted to weaken but speaking of tropical systems and the high rainfall potential we're continuing to watch the remnants of cyclone grant out here in the Gulf of Carpentaria and at this time this doesn't look like it's going to redevelop into a significant tropical cyclone about a category one cyclone but the rainfall as this moves off towards Queensland is definitely going to be a major factor specifically for the towns on the east coast here as that moisture wraps around Australia here and pushes across the reef on shore uh, down there in uh, Innis fail cans and also towns you could see the potential for that flooding but also on the eastern side of the Gulf of Carpentaria here there is that potential for flooding there as well as the storm redevelops tracks off towards the east and makes another landfall here and as we all know uh, the rainfall definitely is not lacking with the system as we saw up on the top end where it actually derailed a train due to flooding rushing across uh, train tracks out there so definitely something to continue to watch here over the next couple days as the system possibly redevelops up to a category one cyclone. But that is all for right now everybody. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comment box below. And also I know I bounced around from all these areas across the uh, Western Pacific, India, and also Australia. If you want a more in-depth discussion, go to uh, your particular bureaus or your particular meteorological agencies out here. Also in Southeastern Asia and the Philippines, uh, Francis and Patrick also put out some great text updates on these areas. So if you want some more in-depth uh, text discussion on these, please go check out the website at westernpacificweather.com for those. So that's all for right now everybody. Have a great day.